All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. So today we're gonna be exploring this beautiful model, the Evora by Toe Brothers. Now this model right here is the Modern Craftsman. That's right, the Modern Craftsman. The base price, the starting price is $579,995. Now what do you get? You have an option from a three to a four bedroom from two to three full baths, well, two to three and a half baths, three car garage, it is 2,370 square feet. Now, we are located here in the northwest of the Las Vegas Valley. As you can see, this is a brand new track that they are building a lot of homes on here or out here in Sky Canyon. If you guys are not familiar with Sky Canyon, this is a pretty nice master plan community with full amenities to the clubhouse. If you guys haven't uh, checked out the clubhouse, I have a, I'll have a link in the description below where you can actually see the clubhouse and see what the clubhouse has to offer. So let's go inside and let's take a look and let's see exactly what Toe Brothers has to offer. There's a couple things that do come standard that you will get. Number one, you got this box right here. So that way you can put all your mail as far as uh, you know your FedEx and all that stuff. You get the ring key and the programmable lock here. I'm gonna walk you guys straight back. So that way you guys can get the lay of the land. Standard 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors. That's right. So on the floors here, I believe you're going to get the 18 by 18 uh, tiles only in the wet areas. I'm going to make one loop around so that way you can get the lay of the land here. Then we're going to make our way back to the front. We're going to start from the front. You got your dining and your beautiful kitchen with your built-in refrigerator. But let's go back. Let's start from the front. So the front, we have eight foot doors. You have the bronze trimming here. And from the front door here, right off to the left, we have a bedroom. Now in the bedroom here, bedroom size in the front is gonna be 10 by 11. Pretty standard size here for all the bedrooms across the Las Vegas Valley. Two-tone paint, straight edge on the cornering, orange peel texture, two-tone. And you have the upgraded baseboards here with the rip that you can see. Carpet transitions into the wood-like tile, six-panel door. Here's your coat closet here. Thermostat. And then we have our bath. So this is a full bath. Fiberglass tub shower combo. But they have a backsplash on here, which is really nice. With the gold fixtures. 30 inch vanity. Then you got your Urban Effects cabinets. The thermophile European style. And I love how they tiled this feature wall all the way down here. Then put that trim around, or that casing, around that hallway, that doorway. That's really nice. Second bedroom. Now with this second bedroom here, it only has one sink. I guess it's not big enough to put two sinks here. This bedroom is 10 by 11, so it's a pretty standard size wood carpet. And on this one, I do love the casings. Uh, around the windows here very interesting kind of gives that farm look I'm not too sure if this is included this tells me that this is probably a 2 by 6 insulation here I believe there are 19 which is highly rated love the fact that they put a transfer duct in here that's really nice that just shows the quality of the build let's head on down here now off to the right, what do we have here? We have our half bath and also our public restroom, okay? With the pedestal sink and some backsplash. However, I definitely would add some more can lights in here. Here's your formal dining. Very nice with the formal dining. You do have the 
for can lighting pre wire for the chandelier however this one's a little bit unique so you have the chandelier here now keep in mind let's just say if you added the four can lighting this is a quick tip right here you add the can four can lighting electrician comes in here will measure out from the wall then you have your chandelier that measures out from this can light to this can light to this can light to this can light so it's down the center however this is technically not the center okay so this is what you got to look at you have a door here right this is your garage the room really starts from this wall to this wall so that's one corner same thing from here to here that's one corner now if you take a look the lights are offset for the whole room the chandelier would be all the way down here so if you take a look your center of your table is right here right because that's the table that you're going to buy but look if you pan all the way up it's offset by two feet so your chandelier is going to be hanging like right down here so you need to figure out what options are you going to do for me i probably would have moved this more over about a foot move that over about a foot so that way you can bring that chandelier light down the middle so you're gonna have to compromise something so these are things that you just need to know quick tip now let's go down this way the laundry room wow love the cabinets love the flooring here really nice beautiful backsplash actually wallpaper wow look at this uh, full overlay with the cabinets ooh nice design you got the whirlpool washer and dryer gas 48 inch on the smart panel box the two car garage well actually the three car garage now this one steps down look how deep this garage is or how high the garage is like 12 feet here you be able to put a lot of storage up here I love this one all right, let's go back inside. Now, here you have a option for this den or another room and also the slider. In replace of the slider, you would actually have a window. However, I probably would not make a fourth bedroom. I would just keep this the way it is. And the reason why I probably wouldn't put the slider here, unless if I had a side yard that was little bit larger and here's why because if you did this and you made this into a bedroom now you're forced to put your headboard here or here so you're really limited as far as optional and to maximize the space and you won't have options on the resale but I love the floating cabinets there with the LED lights now let's get right into the main living area so the main living area here living room kitchen combo love the tile all the way up to the top huge big screen TV right there with the floating cabinets okay you have a nine foot slider and a six foot slide on the other side but this kitchen is gorgeous now this is urban effects which is I really do like this brand maker um, full overlays like I said now with these urban effects cabinets you got the light brown tone then you got the white and it's beautiful with the gold trims too as well as you can see then you have your uh, marble here okay this is actually marble and you have your undermount cast iron sink and take a look at the light fixtures really nice beautiful cabinets you have a 24 inch depth 36 inches high again full overlays let's see what kind of cabinet configurations these are okay so it looks like there's no pullouts on here you have the 36 inch cook countertops, nice hood. You have the backsplash again. It's almost one, two, three pieces, which is really nice. And you got the double stack 42 upper cabinets. Standard will be the maple. Here you have your oven convection. And this is kind of like your butler's pantry. But most importantly, look at this. It leads right into, right, your custom pantry. I mean, look at that. So much options to choose from, right? There you go. Look at that. 
Now, I love the fact that this opens up into your formal dining. Now, if we walk back here, we have a full built-in, which is at this level, I would probably do a full built-in at this time, especially for a home like this. Now, let's take a walk here right next to the cafe. The cafe is probably about 14 by 12, so it's a pretty decent size. Love the two windows here. Then you have this six-foot slide taking you right into the cover patio, which is 10 by 14, I believe. Now, this is our decorative. This is something that you guys can do later on. Now, let's get into the primary. Now, if you guys want more information about this property, I will have it in the link in the description below. Here is a nine foot slide. Technically, a window would go right here. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. You do have an option to put a door right here if you choose to. Right off to your right is your water closet. Right next to the bedroom. I don't know if I like that. I would prefer it to be down a little bit more. Here's your linen closet. So this is more like a galley type of bathroom here that goes all the way down and across. Wow, I do love the mirrors there. Too bad it didn't have the illuminated mirrors that uh, illuminate in the back. That would have been pretty cool. Now, you do have a six inch curb. That takes you right into the shower, really nice. And take a look at this walk-in closet. Not bad. So much options and configurations that you guys can do. If you guys want a custom closet like this, contact my girl Pat from Closets of Las Vegas. That's right. Let them know that I sent you because you know what we do. We take care of our people. That's right. All the people that is from YouTube. Let them know. Promo code Chuggets15. That's the code. Don't tell nobody. All right. Look at this. This is gorgeous, huh? All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about this property. Again, I'll have more information in the description below. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day.